J.D. has added brand new bombshell evidence that, in my opinion, 100% proves that he's innocent. You have evidence like this video here, where you see the police officers leaving. Notice the expressions on their face. Do they seem upset by something that they saw? Do you think that they saw J.D. and evidence that they need to go pull him in? No. What they're doing, they're laughing and they're smiling. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you're doing excellently. And before we get to this, and I mean, look at all of these videos. I mean, there's an ocean of them out there. But before we hit them, check out our book. Link is in the description. This is our way of fighting the companies that allowed this to happen. They denigrate customers. They do stuff like this and more. Walk away from them. Walk towards something. Help send a message with us. Thank you. Now, to give you an idea of just how much video evidence has been added to this trial, here's JD's editions for 4-13-2022. Now, most of this is video surveillance footage, talking about May 21st, 2016. It'll have his arrival. It'll showcase that certain Aquaman starlet on that day or in the aftermath. Or you have videos showcasing the police. Now, out of the oceans of evidence that you have uploaded here, there are two tapes that truly stuck out to me at first. You have this one. This, again, is from 05-21-2016. You notice you have a set of police officers arriving. These are not the police officers that we have body cam footage from, by the way. That is the second set. They're both guys in that. This is a male and a female officer. The first on the scenes, they also say that there was no evidence of the claims that certain Aquaman Starlet made, but if you look at how they're interacting here, you know, they have a more professional face on. They're discussing things, they're talking about maybe the scene, they're talking about what's going on, but you don't see them joking around, and this is going to be important when they're leaving. I mean, again, they're going to the situation, they seem pretty serious about that, they don't know exactly what they're going to find, but they're expecting to find something. Again, they're acting very professional. Now, you'll notice they exit here. You can see what time they exit, by the way. That's going to be at 905 22 seconds. And if we check some of the other exhibits that are available, well, we run across this. This is also from the same day, same elevator. You'll notice we've accelerated a bit. It's now 919. The guy that just got on, that's one Josh Drew. That's the fiance of Rocky Pennington best friend of that certain Aquaman starlet. You see how this exchange goes, by the way. It's very cordial. You never had anyone connected to that certain Aquaman starlet's camp say anything negative about the police until they didn't agree. And look at how these folks are acting here. You can see the smiles. I mean, do they seem upset in any way whatsoever? Do they look like they found something horrific at the scene? Absolutely not. I mean, they're sitting around, they're joking, they probably understand who they're dealing with by now, so they're saying, wow, I mean, look at this situation, this is absolutely insane, but do they look like they're going out to arrest anybody? Do they look like they're upset, like they just saw the aftermath of some type of crime scene? Absolutely not. They look like their time has been wasted, like they're going to go and file some paperwork and say that everything's done. And this this did not lead to an arrest, by the way. This led to them saying that J.D. did nothing at all. Now, when you combine what you just saw there with the body cam footage with the second set of officers, well, things, they get really, really interesting. Why? Because you have two sets of officers now that saw absolutely nothing. Now, this set of officers we get body cam footage from, but they try to dismiss the body cam footage. They try to say, well, we cleaned up between the first and second set of officers. That's why you don't see anything on this. In fact, this works as evidence for us. It is absolutely insane. The one thing that you'll notice, though, when you get into this, I'll turn the sound on, too, when they arrive at the door, but look at the carpet. I mean, when you're going over this, remember, there's supposed to be wine spillage. JD supposedly ran through the halls, ransacking things with a magnum bottle of wine. Do you see any damages anywhere? Do you see any spillage anywhere? 
Absolutely not. And again, there are two sets of officers that confirmed the same thing. We have body cam footage of this set, like I said. We have video where the other set exits. You can see that they're not upset about anything. They don't think anything happened. And here, I'm going to turn on the sound so you can hear what's said. This is Josh Drew, by the way, the guy we met at the elevator before. But listen to this here. Yeah, we got another call. I don't know if it's related to the same call from earlier or if somebody called again. Probably. Uh, we just need to when check. Do you guys know someone in New York or something? Yeah, she probably called twice. Okay. Yeah. Is, uh, can you just talk to your wife and make sure it's, oh, it's not my or, Oh, okay. Whoever. Different conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whoever it is, you know, stuff out. We've got to get on I, I'll go get the business card from the cops. She's yeah, I don't know. Just because we got another call and we came again, we still got to make sure. We'll take it. We'll take it. Check up. Please, check up. Can we just, yeah, yeah. We just come in and just check? We need to make sure everybody in here. This is just the beginning of the veritable treasure trove of items, too. I mean, you have a lot of incidentals. You have a lot of surveillance video where it picks up that certain Aquaman starlet. Here, for example, you can see them come into frame. You can see their face across the video. What will be interesting is to see how the defense tries to play it. Did you see something? We certainly did. Yeah, the police didn't. No one else did. But hey, you know, somehow they'll try to... And to close this out, I want to say again, check out and back our project. The link is in the description. This is our way of fighting industry that's set on information showing this guy was innocent for a year plus. They could have done something about that. They could have not denigrated their customers, but they didn't. They decided to go full steam ahead, and that's okay. Take your money from them, walk towards something, help us send a message there too, and thank you. Also, thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Appreciate you helping out the channel. And until next time, see you soon.